so for the exercise here you see that uh, we have a script here uh, uh, where we are having this polygon uh, we are uh, you know filtering uh, to the this bounding box and then we are taking a median to create the composite and this is the rgb so this is uh, for this particular geometry uh, we are having rgb and we can further classify this by taking training sample using this RGB image. Now, uh, uh, for the first step, you have to create the polygon at your location, your city or any location that you would like to. So first step would be to delete this geometry and create a new geometry at your uh, city, some, some region that you might already know so that you can just see the classes and you know, you can do, you can do it by your own. So suppose I'm uh, showing you the process and I'll uh, here uh, I have my hometown. I'm just taking reference so that I can see like whether it has all the classes, I can see the, roughly what it has and I can just draw a polygon. Yeah, so now you have RGB image for this particular uh, geometry and you can take classes. So uh, you can take sample for point for the different classes. So here you see we want to create feature collection for urban, bare, uh, water and vegetation. So just uh, zoom into the feature, uh, zoom into the image and particular feature that you want to start with taking uh, sample points. You can keep the satellite for your reference, but always wait for the RGB image to load as we are going to run the classifier on this image. Yeah, so now uh, we can start with taking points for urban. So uh, let's uh, create a new layer. We want a feature collection for all the classes. Give it a name, say urban. We want the land cover property so that we can use this for classifying the image. Uh, we are putting zero here. You can change uh, color of the marker to any color that you would like to keep. So here now you can just identify uh, pixels which you can consider as urban for the particular and this I consider as urban. So I can select a point here. You can just uh, go around and see if there are there are roads and you can drop points there uh, try to uh, take 10 to 15 points for uh, each class and uh, make it well distributed so if you are taking some points here uh, just go to some other area and try to take points for buildings over there and make sure you're dropping points inside your image region if you drop points outside you'll get an error so again, sometimes when you have a satellite view enabled, it's hard to see what's the background. So make sure after you're done, switch to back to map and make sure all the points are within the image region that you had chosen. Also, Veena, can you show how to uh, delete or move the point in case people make a mistake? Yeah. So here you have the point. Uh, if you choose to move this, you can just select this one and just move it like this. You can drag and move. Also, you see here you have the option to delete. So you can delete this point like this. So just like also you can uh, switch between uh, the layers. So let's do one more. I'll cl create one more layer and I'll take do the same thing feature collection. It's a bare class land cover property that i'll have to set and it's uh one you can keep color maybe something red or something okay uh now i'll inspect and look for pair classes yeah. so i'm taking some points here 
in between uh, i feel like taking some points for urban so it's it, it's not like you can st stick to one class at a time so you can just switch layers so in between if you want to take point for urban you can switch it like this again you can switch to other layer and take point for the bear so like this uh, we want to create feature collections for water and vegetation and uh, after that we have the script to classify the image uh, we can create gcps uh, using these points uh, we can just sample regions and create the training samples and run the classifier and at the end uh, we have the uh, code to uh, just uh, extract waters water bodies so we are if you see here we are assigning value to for water so we have the line of code here where we are saying uh, extract uh, value equal to two from the classified image and you will see just water bodies from uh, out of all what you have classified so after taking the training sample just uh, uncomment these many lines of code and run the classifier and uh, you should get the uh, classified image as well as water bodies highlighted from the classification that you have done. So the main thing that you will see is water and sh building shadows and roads often gets confused. So make sure you take enough points on the roads and buildings uh, as urban. And for water, make sure you take only the pure class. If you take a point on a vegetation covered water body, that will get confused with the vegetation. If you have a water body that is no water, you know, do not take a uh, point as water. So whatever you see, use that to decide whether the point belongs to the class or not.